many new campers are often shocked by how much camping can cost. Which, surprisingly can often cost more than staying in a hotel. But before I tell you why camping is expensive, let's start and find out what camping actually is. Camping is a way to spend time with family and friends in the great outdoors. It is a good bonding experience for people who are not used to spending time together. Camping is an outdoor recreational activity that consists of pitching a tent or staying in a cabin and enjoying nature while spending one or more nights outdoors. Campers usually bring their own food, but they can also buy food from nearby towns. Some campsites provide amenities like electricity, showers and toilets, but others do not. Camping can be done in many places around the world, including forests, deserts, mountains and by the sea. Camping is an outdoor recreational activity where campers stay outside for one or more nights without shelter such as tents or cabins with the goal of experiencing nature firsthand and enjoying close fellowship with fellow humans. So, why is camping so expensive? Camping is expensive mostly due to the specialized gear. Tents, outdoor cooking gear, sleeping bags, not to mention outdoor clothing all can have big upfront costs that can cost hundreds to even thousands of dollars. Once you have gear, though, camping because relatively cheap just the costs of food, travel, and reservations. On top of this, they buy a lot of expensive gear and they buy it all at once. These factors dramatically drive up the cost of camping. Luckily, camping doesn't have to be expensive. There are many ways that you can make it cheaper and in this post, I'll tell you what they are. Before I tell you, make sure that you like the video and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on more helpful camping content. Let's get into it. Here are three tips on how you can make camping cheaper. Tip number one. Stay at a state campground. State parks offer an economical version of camping that can be quite comfortable. Some state parks will have amenities like flush toilets, hot showers, laundry facilities, recreational activities, and even beaches and pools with lifeguards. These state parks don't cost much money to stay in either. An overnight stay in a state park will cost you anywhere from $5 on the low end to $35 on the high end. Price variations are usually the result of the different levels of amenities offered at different state parks. Generally, the more amenities that are offered, the more expensive your stay will be. Also, different states tend to charge different prices, so the state you camp in does matter. How much does it cost to stay at a campground? The cost of camping depends on the type of campsite you stay at and the amenities that are offered at that campsite. The most expensive campsites have private bathrooms with hot showers and electricity hookups for RVs or trailers. These types of campsites may charge $25 per person per night or more for camping fees. The least expensive campsites are usually primitive sites without any amenities and charge $12 per person per night or less for camping fees. Tip number 2. Bring your own food. Even $10 diner meals can add up. Pack all of your own food and you'll save a ton of money on your trip. To do this, you can invest in some simple campsite cooking tools or choose meals that don't require cooking. You can also pre-make your own meals so that all you have to do is heat them up when you get to your campsite. How to save money on food. Sadly, fresh pre-prepared food is so convenient for camping, but it's also more expensive. You can save money by chopping those vegetables or fruits at home, and putting them in a container you can take with you, camping. Snack costs can really add up to the total camping cost. Tip number 3. Share a campsite. For those of you who don't want to give up the resort-style campground, why not share a campsite? Many sites will allow you to put 4 to 8 people on one campsite and they have space for more than one tent. A $50 a night stay in a resort might only cost you $25 when you split the cost with a friend or family member. Both of you end up getting all of the amenities that the resort has to offer at the same price that you would have paid to stay the night in a state park. If you want to take this even further, you could camp at a state park with a friend or family member. This way, your $20 stay turns into a $10 stay. Also, you could carpool and split the cost of gas and tolls and really save some money along the way. Camping can sometimes be expensive, but it can also be affordable. How much you spend really depends on how much time and effort you invest in. The best ways to save money is to come up with a plan ahead of time and buy gear beforehand. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned a thing or two today. If you did, please make sure that you like the video and subscribe to my channel.